Hello Scott, welcome back to Sam Nude. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. How do human experiences affect a computer? This was a question your father often pondered. I am intended to be the answer. Sounds like we both are. What does this mean for us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks.
Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Ryder. One of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. 
There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Ryder, this new station leadership I'm hearing about finally let you out of their sight? Looks like. Took them long enough. Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. I'll make it right.